This is just no brainer stuff. Like literally, when you automate all of these repetitive tasks, you free up more time. This is the Cardi method. You hear me talk so much about systems. So understand that refining your systems are crucial for efficiency and consistency. Just a core principle with my teaching and methodology. Understand that my most core principle is consistency. It's why I talk about Substack. It's like efficiency. It's why I talk about systems. It's why I build tools. This is why I systemize my learning. This is why I make this whole YouTube channel such a systematic thing. My approach emphasizes the importance of developing a streamlined workflow for all your repetitive tasks. If you're doing client onboarding, have a system. If you're doing photo editing, have a system. Client delivery, use Indie have a system, contracts, invoices, proposals, use Indie. It's a system. Start by mapping out each step of all your processes and identify bottlenecks or areas that you could improve. By the way, if you create a detailed client onboarding checklist, it ensures that no step is missed from the initial contact when you're meeting someone to getting them to sign the contract to planning out the pricing to planning out the project. All of this needs standardizing. When you standardize those workflows, not only saves time, but it helps that you build a consistent experience for every client. And by the way, you got to invest in tools and software that can help you automate parts of your workflow. I use Ift as one of my automations. This is called If This Then That. And Ift, Ift is just, this is just no brainer stuff. Like literally, if, if this, then that. So let's talk about some of my, some of my applets and they're called applets, literally. Tweet my Instagrams as native photos on Twitter. You know, when you post to Twitter, what happens is like, it's not your action when you share to Twitter from Instagram or say also post it. Like it doesn't actually make a post like it's a tweet with your photo. It's just a link to your Instagram. So this tweets your Instagrams as native photos. Also, if I upload a video to YouTube, then tweet it with a link and an image. So if this is automation, and if you look at my Twitter and look at what my feed actually looks like, I literally just logged out of all of this stuff. If you look at what my feed actually looks like, you'll see that my feed is an incredibly visual feed because I use Ift and Ift makes it like all the things that I send to Instagram, all the things that I send to um, my YouTube channel populate here with a native image. So it makes my feed look very sexy. And this is just simple automation tools and it's a part of my workflow. So, Invest in that. If it costs like five bucks, seriously, you got to refine your systems. There's numerous applications designed to handle all kinds of aspects of your photography business from client relationship management, CRM, that's Indie, systems that track client integrations, interactions, that's also Indie, your editing software, that's Creative Cloud, always. You can batch process images. You can do all kinds of things with Adobe Express as far as design assets. Automation tools help you handle tasks such as sending up follow-up emails, scheduling appointments. I use Calendly to schedule all my appointments, integrates with my calendar. I just send someone a link. They can book themselves in when it's convenient for them. It also has my calendar so it knows when I'm booked on something else and it just makes people be able to put themselves into my calendar. Organize your digital life, organize your digital files. When you automate all of these repetitive tasks, you free up more time and it helps you focus on the creative aspects of your business and your work. And it also helps you engage more personally with your clients. And it's actually the best thing. You guys still with me? By the way, 
Any other tools that you guys want to talk about? Are there any tools that you guys use that I haven't mentioned? Ift is just one of them. But if I go and scroll the bottom of my screen, like Notion is another just super easy tool that you can just rue the day with like Notion. And I'm such a cracker with Notion. Like I actually build my own templates. We're looking at my notes right now and I systemize everything. I'm so crazy with it. This is my podcast notes for today's episode. And this is all the stuff that I'm talking about. I have templates for everything all my youtube videos all my podcasts i have a habit tracker like my habit tracker is actually kind of dope this is all stuff that you can get on the cardimethod.com but my habit tracker basically turns you into an absolute machine if you want to get things done this habit tracker will help you accomplish what a normal person would take a year to do you'll be doing it in 12 weeks. This is one of the coolest things that I've built. I'm also like building stuff all the time. So Notion is just another one of those tools. You have to have robust systems in place.